Welcome back to the 2020 FLW Pro Circuit event on Lake Chickamauga. This is the first FLW Super Tournament. And the last video I did was for days one and two, and this video is for days three and four. And at the end of the last video that I posted, which is also on my channel, uh, a day two was very, very rough. Uh, I ended up struggling until around 11 o'clock, but then found a really clutch uh, mayfly hatch pattern that really pushed me through and allowed me to catch 16 pounds and then call up to 17 pounds by the end of the day. So in really good position going into day three, and, uh, and so obviously I'm gonna go fish that, that mayfly hatch pattern, but first I wanted to check out my primary offshore pattern that I tried on the first and second day as well. that one I'm guessing oh yeah there's a bunch of them down there I didn't think I wasn't sure if they were bass after catching a small keeper on that offshore spot that I had good success on day one and tested on day two I decided to go ahead and head straight to my mayfly hatch pattern on the south end of the lake once I got down to my primary area down lake, I picked up one rod, a uh, Fitzgerald all-purpose 7.3 medium heavy rod with a Z-Man cross-size football jig, three-quarter ounce with a turbo cross trailer, the same setup that I used the previous day, and I went to work. And I'm going to let the footage speak for itself because it was pretty exciting. There's a fish. Big one. That's what I'm talking about. I'll have to get a picture of that if that's all right. Yeah. Thank you. The angle's so bad on, yeah. on, the, on the fish. And with a heavy bait like that, dude, you can't risk, risk changing your, your angle or... Yep. There he is. Big one. He's coming. Go another close to three again. Heck yeah, nice fatty for sure. Got one more picture of that one. Awesome, sweet. That's exactly what you were talking about. Yep. Founders. Yeah, for sure. There he is. Big one. Oh my gosh, this is a toad. This might be a catfish. Nope. Got him. <sighs> That's amazing. <laughs> Fast and God. Look at that one. That's a grown one, ain't it? <laughs> For whatever reason, it's real slow. Yeah, it's it's slow. If you hit it again, there he is. Good one. Stupid. Isn't that just stupid? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Unfreaking believable. That's another one. Pretty easy, wasn't it? That was five, right? Yeah. Get six. Big one. Oh, freaking one. Big one. This is a freaking toad. Uh, maybe not. But it'll get rid of that little one. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Is 
17 pounds like that. Get Mr. Rat out at least. All just beautiful. There he is. Big one. Giant. All right, so that was a pretty exciting morning. I ended up culling up to 20 pounds, two ounces within an hour long period. It was it was it was did, one of I those just up. really special days where I was able to really capitalize on a special morning bite. And so with that 20 pounds, I slid into the top five at fifth place going into the final day. The final day we were met with a very heavy fog that delayed us for at least an hour and a half. And uh, so once that fog was able to clear out, we finally got down to our spot, but it was gonna be a much, much shorter day. And so I knew that I had a good opportunity to catch another solid bag at my Mayfly Hatch area, but I was also concerned that it was more of a morning bite on that spot and that because of the fog delay, I wasn't gonna be able to capitalize on that morning bite. So I also had in the back of my head that I might need to make an adjustment throughout the day. And I think there's gonna be little windows of opportunity. There's a bite. Good fish. Good fish. We're just gonna both flip him. All right, first four pounder of the day. Right there. Look at that. Every single fish, just like that. Maybe keep or two. We'll see. Here today. They're there. It just it, it, at some point there's there's fish. After a couple hours of fishing my primary mayfly hatch pattern, it became apparent to me that, that it just wasn't going to happen. I had missed that morning bite with one four pounder in the box uh, and a couple hours of fishing time and only a co other couple non keepers to show for it. I decided to move shallow because of the cloud cover and the rain uh, and pick up a Z Man leapfrogs and start walking around some shallow grass. Oh, I got you. I got you. All right. Number three. On the leaf frogs. <laughs> so these guys up shallow have been having fun like this all week. Without me. There they are. Maybe. That's not Don't think he's going to keep. Oh my goodness. He was not even hardly hooked at all.
Decent fish right there. Deer tongue, pepper grass, and oh, this is wrong. Whatever it is, weeds. Come on, baby. One more. Nice. That's a limit. That's a limit, boys and girls. That is a limit. Right there. Number five. Not what I had yesterday, but you know what? A little bit slower today. Things are different. call my shot anytime today it's gonna to be right now. Alright. Well I already called my shot on the key stretch but as far as on a frog. I didn't say I'd catch one. better than I thought. Like 
That'll help. That'll help. Woo! After my primary area didn't work out, uh, making that adjustment to fish shallow, fish that frog real shallow, move really quickly, really paid off. I was, I was able to really rebound and catch some key fish, fill out a limit, and though it was still the, the smallest limit of, that I had all week, uh, it was still a good quality limit. And so I suspected to stay within that, that top five or six spot. Uh, and overall, it was great to come back to the WAN to see my wife to be able to enjoy this moment with her. Good job today again, dude. All right, here we go. Our next pro in his rookie year last year qualified for the Forest Wood Cup, had a great season. Was in contention for uh, Angler of the Year and Polaris Rookie of the Year about halfway through the year. Just an amazing start last year. And no sophomore slump for this guy. He comes out having a great year in the points race. Day one, 18 pounds and four ounces. Day two, 17 even. Day three, his best day, 20 pounds and two ounces. Let's hear it for the Soddy Daisy Tennessee Pro, Miles Burgoff. All right, here we go, Miles, to dethrone the rock star Alex Davis and take the lead. Put yourself in contention for the win. You need 17 pounds, 6 ounces. We watched you today on FOW Live. You were looking for the big one when the show went off. A five-bass limit. Did he find the kicker? 15 pounds and 13 ounces moves Miles Berg off to third place. Miles, let's go talk about it, man. Missing the giant, the big one on Championship <laughs> Friday, but a great tournament. I see your beautiful, your better half, because we know her, is with you on the stage, man. Talk about a great week. Yeah, man, this has been a phenomenal week. You know, you guys, you guys have no idea how much I've struggled out on Chickamauga in the past in tournaments. That's the reason I moved to Saudi Daisy and I moved to this great area to, to learn this lake. And this was kind of a coming out party for me when it comes to Chickamauga, man. Finally got a top 10, got a cut. This, is, uh, this has been a great week. And I did it a lot of different ways. I, I fished everything from deep. Uh, out shallow, you know, it, it just everywhere. I, I fished deep the first day, fished a, uh, a really heavy uh, ounce and a quarter jackhammer chatterbait in a very variety of different colors. Uh, and then I, the second day, I was really struggling. I ended up finding this mayfly hatch pattern uh, up shallow. Um, well, it really wasn't shallow, but it was on the bank. It was this bluff wall and uh, I fished a Z-Man cross eyes football jig and just absolutely hammered them for two days in a row. They were just perfect little football bass. And then today I kind of had to pivot a little bit and go shallow, throw a frog, and I caught some key fish that way. But overall, it's been a great experience, and I got to, to spend it with my, my great wife. She took care of me this week. She, she was uh, over there doing this. That means cha-ching because she's getting the chips. She knows she's means. getting some money. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, she, she, she took care of me all week, and, and uh, so it, it was just great having her here. And it, Well, she lives here, so it was just great being home and uh, getting to see her every single night. What did you think? I forgot to pack you more frogs. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she forgot to pack me more frogs. She forgot to remind me to bring a frog box. I had one frog. Luckily, I had some cigar uh, braid that, that held up. That's good stuff, man. Hey, listen, you do a great job on FLW Live, man. Thanks, man. You're, you're cooler than the other side of the pillow. That's probably because you got your own TV show, right, Sweetwater? Sweetwater Fishing TV, yeah. Uh, How you, can we follow you on social media? Plug that, Miles. So, yeah, so uh, I would love if you guys follow me. Uh, it, you know, on Instagram, it's Sonar Fishing. On, on Facebook, it's Miles Sonar Burgoff. That's my uh, business page. And uh, on YouTube, I, I'm really putting a lot of energy into my, my YouTube channel, Sonar Fishing. Uh, and so if you want to see what happened out here all week, outside alive, uh, check that out. I'm going to be doing an edit just about this tournament.
Love this guy. Let's hear it for Sonar. Miles Berghoff. Great job this week, Miles. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys out on the water.